thought there was a lot. Right down the gut of that. Oh, that feels good too. That fish at all. Right down the gut of that right there. That is a chunk. Nice, healthy one right there, buddy. You gonna jump again? That's about all you can do, man, how cold this water is. Man, swimming a jig can be so much fun. Truly one of the most effective, extremely shallow water presentations. You can fish it on bare banks, but you can fish it in really heavy cover, really, really shallow. And that's something you can't do with a lot of baits. That's why swimming a jig can be so effective in that one to five foot range, even six inches to five foot. That's where I like to fish for a big chunky largemouth like that. We did a really comprehensive video that was here on Wired to Fish about jig fishing in general. And you know, my all time most versatile jig is the Terminator Pros jig. It's something that I used to swim a lot. I still flip it all the time. I'll cast it out in deeper water when I'm not throwing a football jig. It is just a great all purpose jig, but the swim jig to really be optimized, it needs to be built a little bit differently. You want something that's balanced differently. It's got a, more of a bullet shaped head for coming through vegetation from the head, the weed guard, the hook, the trailer keeper, all the features on this heavy duty swim jig really make it the perfect swim jig. Will it work for flipping? Sure. Could you cast it out deep? Absolutely. But it is really the perfect swim jig. That's a pretty nice one. That was a sweet bite out there just coming through that grass. Put my talons down right here on the swim jig. A nice cold water, cold water swim jig bass right there. Just out in this submerged vegetation. It's a great place to fish a swim jig. When you think of a swim jig, you think of submerged vegetation. At least I do. I've caught them around everything on it, but good, chunky, cool water, grass. Look at the colors on that fish. A lot different than they are when they're not around grass, but man, what a pretty, pretty early season swim jig largemouth. It's pretty neat to see that both of those bites really have come in a similar type of place. But there's another one. Maybe they're gonna be loaded back in here. Oh dude, that's a good one right there, but each bite I've got so far has been out. They've not been up tight to those reeds. They've all been out away from it, kind of in the ditch really two in a row right there. <laughs> but those fish laying out in that honestly makes sense. This water has been up probably three or four feet since just a few days ago and it's fell back down pretty hard. Those fish seem to be grouped up out in these creek channels. Oh, if that one goes. Swimming a swim jig is something that when it's right, nothing else even compares to it. I've, I've, been, I've been victim of honestly not fishing one in a lot of situations where I should have. I felt like I needed something that was much more aggressive, something that put off a lot of vibration, a bladed jig, a spinner bait. But dang, a swim jig, especially on a still day like this, we've got no wind at all. Those are the kind of conditions where a swim jig just really excels. Those fish don't need a lot of aggressiveness, a lot of vibration, you know, something that's really kind of in their face. That swim jig is supernatural. Just put a good realistic trailer on the back of it. You can fish that bait slow. You can buzz it right on the surface but you can fish it at any speed, any depth, any type of cover, where a lot of baits really limit your ability to be versatile, ability to fish it anywhere. You're not limited with a swim jig. Whether it's in crankbaits, lipless baits, flipping jigs, a lot of times I'll flip a, a jig without a rattle. I've always been all about you know a really quiet bait, something that doesn't make a lot of noise, something very, very natural. A swim jig is much like a swim bait in that the only noise or the only vibration that's gonna come from that is depending upon whatever trailer you put on the back of it. On this one, I've got a, I've got a pretty big flappy crawl style trailer on the back of it. No rattle on the jig. It just comes through the water. That trailer back there does all the, all, makes all the noise that's made from that. And it really is one of the most subtle baits because of that. You can put a really you know, a really small vibrating trailer on the back and it's not going to make, make much noise at all. And the thing that I've seen over the years is just how effective this very quiet, very subtle bait can be even in really, really dirty water. And that just goes to show us just how good a bass's senses truly are. We don't give them credit for that. 
near enough. You know, people all across the country are throwing a lot more, you know, bladed jig is, is such a popular bait and extremely effective. But there are times when you can go behind people that are throwing a bladed jig and catch fish that'll never bite theirs just because of that extra noise that it's putting in the water that a swim jig doesn't. When I'm fishing in a place that's super shallow like this, I'll actually go down on my menu on my sonar, my 2D sonar, and actually just power it down. I'm gonna leave the map up and I'm gonna leave my 360 on. My 360 is really, really quiet, but that 2D sonar ping, it puts some noise into the water. And I'll do the same on that back unit to where I don't have anything actually clicking down into the water. Whether it bothers the bass or not, I don't know. But it bothers me sometimes up real shallow in these flat areas. And I'll just turn that off. I don't have to worry about it. If I want to see how deep it is, right there's the bottom. Talking, being, being quiet, and being stealthy, not only with my bait, with my sonar, but also with the trolling motor. If I get into an area like this, I've got a lot of, a lot of stuff to throw at. I want to throw at this little clump, that clump, down the ditch over here to this right hand side. It's really important to ease into an area like this, nice and soft on the trolling motor, put my shallow water anchors down, and then I can just work this area apart and hopefully catch a fish off of multiple pieces of cover right here. Or if I come blowing in real fast on my trolling motor, much more likely to spook those fish and uh, not, not be able to catch them all. There's one. Come right out of the side of that. That one was actually tucked up there uh, pretty close. Another really quality fish right there, man. Dude, these fish in here are all so very chunky. What a beauty you got there. That swim jig being really quiet, putting my anchors down, just easing around in here, really picking this stuff apart. There seems to be a bunch of nice ones swam up in here right now. This water's 52 degrees. Catch them on a swim jig. They definitely like like that thing up here in this cool water. <laughs>